Hey everyone, this is Eric Sloof over at antipro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you some real cool software. It's called Zero Tier and I was delivering a training course at Altaris in Delft and one of the students, uh, Leroy van Lochem, has pointed me to this really cool software because it allows you to span your local networks over a wide area network and on top of that you can also go through netted networks and even you can go through firewalls. So before we start with the demo I'm going to show you a little whiteboard session and in this session I will explain what this zero tier software does. So what we have is a whiteboarding software from IP Evo. it's free and it allows you to do whiteboard sessions. I'm using it a lot when I'm delivering live online training courses and in this little whiteboard session I will show you that the Zero Tier software is capable of yeah, creating a wide area network with local area networks attached to it. So I have a laptop, this laptop is uh, attached to uh, my local access point at home so it's netted so let's go to my modem right here and the laptop is connected to my to my modem and on the other hand I also have uh, on the internet I have a server let's see if I can find the server yeah here's a good server and this server is not connected to any netted network or wireless expert point it's not even connected to a firewall it's directly routed to the internet and then it's attached to yeah whatever um, I can also connect my iPhone to zero tier and when I go back to my symbols and I select my iPhone then my iPhone is also connected through Vodafone and Vodafone is also connected to the internet. If I want to bring all these devices in the same subnet, so I want to create layer 2 adjacency between these devices, I can use Zero Tier. And what Zero Tier does is that you have to install a little piece of software and it creates an overlay network. And this device can use this overlay network to connect to a central Zero Tier router. A point to point is also uh, possible but in this example I will show you a configuration with a central router and this central router is using encrypted overlay tunnel networking to connect all these devices uh, together so let's create this router that is hosted by zero tier and all these routes are coming here so there is software available for Windows then you're creating an overlay network for Windows, there's software available for Mac OS, there's even an iOS app which can be installed to create this overlay network and all these networks are connected to the zero tier overlay network and now they all have layer 2 adjacency so these machines are on the same layer 2 network. Well this is great for gaming but you can also use it for other things, it's not directly VPN uh, it's it's overlay networking in most VPN solutions you are on a different subnet but in this case you're all on the layer, layer 2 network so let me show you how this works in the real world so we are going out of the whiteboard session and first of all I will show you the interface or the website of Zero Tier uh, there is a free edition and a free edition allows you to do some experiments, some gaming, but there are also professional editions where you have to buy a license. So you can check out the website, they recently updated their uh, licenses, and, uh, but the Zero Tier free edition allows you to do a lot of cool stuff. So when I go to my Zero Tier Central, this is where I can manage my networks and I created a network ID for anti pro and this is my network ID you have to be careful with it because if you don't put your network on private anyone can join your network so they have layer 2 adjacency to all the, the devices in your network you can also allow 
to the route traffic from your uh, span layer 2 network through the real world, through a gateway. So this allows you to go through a proxy, more or less. And we, you can pick which network you want to use. In our case, we're using 172.28.x.x. So we have 255, 255 network. And uh, this is the uh, multicast recipient limit. So this is interesting because what we see is that my iPhone is allowed to participate in this network. But it is not online yet. This is the IP address of my uh, iPhone. My MacBook is also allowed to participate in this network. And this is the fictive IP address of my uh, MacBook. And also my uh, iMac is allowed to participate. And this is the address of my iMac. So when I go to screen sharing, I can use this address to connect to the desktop of my iMac and now I'm going through the zero tier network so I'm connecting I have to provide my credentials and then I'm able to uh, take over the desktop of my iMac it's on the left of me and of course I can also use my local address uh, that's no problem at all, but in this case, we're using the uh, address of zero tier. Yeah? So what we see here is that my iMac and my MacBook are both using an IP address from my provider, so I'm on the same access point. But this is an interesting one. This is an external address. It's a Windows server, and I went to my friends over at uh, filter and I spinned up a new uh, a new host I shouldn't show the password of the administrator but <laughs> I will tear it down in a minute so it's very easy you can uh, you can easily deploy new uh, servers right here and uh, you put some money into here with your PayPal account you choose for what type of uh, VM you want in this case it's a cloud compute VM you can select a location and you can select the operating system and you can select how many virtual CPUs and uh, how many what type of storage you want to have and you simply click deploy now and within a few minutes this new server is deployed well I did the same and what we see here is the virtual server I just showed you in my uh, in my account right here and uh, yeah this virtual server uh, I went to the zero tier.com website I double clicked the download I saved the download I run the setup and after the setup is done uh, you will get a new icon on the bottom of your screen and now you can join a network I didn't join a network yet and I want to show you what happened if I do an IP config uh, you can see that I get an IPP address right here on my one connector. And this is the physical address I showed you from the provider. So this IPP address is here because I didn't accept this connection yet. Uh, so when I go back to the zero tier central and I go back to my network ID and I copy this network ID and I say I want to join, uh, I want to join this network and I paste that address into uh, into this box. Yeah, copy, paste, join, and I go back to the zero tier web page, and I simply go uh, to the to the refresh button. Then I can see that someone is trying to access my network, but I didn't approve it yet, so. Uh, he will get an address as soon as I approve it right here. So let's put a mark in here. And now I approve this address from this external network. And after a while it should get uh, a valid address. Let's do another refresh. And now we can see that it has received an address. And when I go back to my uh, server, I can see that 
the address is now assigned right here. And so this allows me to add not only external hosted servers, um, remote cloud providers, it even works with uh, yeah, netted machines, firewall machines. And so if I go back to my drawing board, uh, it's even possible to connect a machine that's behind the firewall. So let me explain that real quick. When I have a firewall right here, yeah, and I put it here, and I have a laptop behind the firewall, and the laptop is connected to the firewall, and the firewall is connected to the internet, and eventually goes to this zero-tier exchange point, then the zero-tier software installed on my desktop will try to use uh, firewall netting or firewall session IDs to go through this firewall and even create a session through HTTPS. It's all secured, so everything is encrypted, and all the devices are on the same layer 2 network. And I must admit that my son is playing Minecraft with his friends using this technique, but you can use it for many other purposes. So, this was Eric Sloof signing off. I hope you have fun with it. This is real cool software. Bye-bye.